After such a hot summer, it isn't uncommon for our soil to suffer as well. And one of the biggest things that can happen is that the soil will become hydrophobic. And what this means is that there's a buildup of clay residue, which covers the soil particles, making the repellent to water. And it's quite a common issue and it is easy to fix. But another thing that can happen over summer is that there will be rapid drying out of that soil. So not enough moisture going into it but it is very easy to fix, so let me show you how. A way to test to see if your soil has become hydrophobic over the summer is to pour some water on the soil's surface. This can be in the garden or on potted plants. And what you'll find is that the water beads and rolls off the surface, or simply just sits there and doesn't absorb through. Using a wetting agent is one of the quickest ways to treat your soil if it has become hydrophobic. So the one I've picked up is Sea Salt Super Soil Conditioner and I'm going to use about 100 mils to a 9 litre watering can and I'll apply that once every two weeks until the soil improves. Another great way to fix the soil is to add well aged compost and animal manures as this will help revitalise that tired soil. But if you don't want to get your hands dirty, don't worry, you don't have to. You can use this instead. This is the liquid compost and it works exactly the same way. And you know what? It'll give your plants a little bit of a boost too. If you have hydrophobic soil, it isn't ideal, but it can be fixed with a little bit of work. Your garden will benefit from it, all thanks to you giving it a little bit of extra love. <laughs>